Welcome to part three of the old stanky build. Today we're gonna do some uh, some painting, some suspension. I don't know. You gently get in here, get this thing out like that. Let's just make this thing a little less turdish. Ew. Well, after cussing and uh, praying and uh, throwing a few wrenches around and figuring out that uh, when you buy coils off Amazon, they're not the right ones. Um, I got some shocks in, so yeah, we're we're doing good there. Uh, these are these are just gonna get some spray paint and stay there, and I'll button this thing up. So yeah, just an update on uh, the rear suspension here. So on today's episode of Why the Fuck Would They Do That? Uh, let's see here. See this bolt? Somebody just welded a bolt on here. They didn't even look to see what size. Must just been what they had. What is your major malfunction? Here's the, the bottom bolt hole for the shock with the little sleeve in there. That's nice. And then the top one, yeah, they just drilled it out and jammed it on that big, huge nut. So, yeah, the new ones obviously don't have that mod. So, uh, uh, yeah, let's figure out if we can uh, uh, fix it, make the new ones work. Not quite sure. All right, so uh, turd is in the toilet, and I was able to insert the old one into the new shock to make it work because the center piece is not wanting to come out. So, I'm not going to sit and fight it all day. This bushing is in decent shape, at least on that side. See, it's pretty. So, we're just going to go ahead and uh, go reinstall this bed way. All right, so the rear is buttoned up. Oh, look at them fancy things. Let's put them bad boys in, see if we can maybe bend those pads there up a little bit. See if we can, uh, you know, make lemonade out of this here turd. Ew. Would you look at that? Look, Jenny, Lieutenant Stanky's got new legs. All right, what do we got here? So I set the front back on. I got to do some uh, some sanding still, do some uh, color sanding, and then I'm gonna clear this thing. Ended up getting dust on it because it was sitting out there, but front didn't look too bad. But I still want to clean it up. We got to address this crap here. Try to get all this glue off, and then start sanding away on some of this. I mean, there's so much turd in this thing, man. It's like a I don't know, old rusty toilet or something. Well, let's flush this thing. Like that. That's all you got to do. Just a little finesse goes a long way. The outside here. Now this I want to, I want to hold on to that one. Come right. Just ease a little. So if you guys are wondering, I'm using some uh, 80 rock. See, there's 80 rocks in here, or uh, Patey. Some Patey. That's what I'm using to, to just knock the poop off there. And then I'm going to probably go back with some punter 20. Punt, punter, punter 20. Let's look and see what we did here. Oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. I got a little bit of that spider out of there. Oh yeah, she is smooth as a dinosaur's vagina. Oh. That liquid nails is like gorilla snot. Good God, is that a pain? Yeah, a grinder should do it. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> Little tip for you guys: if you're putting new carpet in here and you want to use liquid nails, uh, the next guy's probably going to use some uh, language that c it rhymes with. Uh, Cupid's mom's a trucker or a dirty sock chucker because, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, buddy. You're a bit of a butthole for putting that on there. It stinks real bad, and it has made a hell of a mess using a grinder, but 
we got it off there so let's go clean this up stupid mother trucker done with my first coat on the uh, floor here not coming out too bad it's got a nice little little grip to it I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit it with another coat and then uh, let's get working on getting this stuff painted back here I spared you guys the nonsense and just got after it so I'm on the first coat of the purple here but I got the black done shot it with a little clear starting to look pretty nice See how that front end's looking. I shot that with some clear this morning. I'm sure it's got dust in it, but oh, it's not looking too bad. Still got a little bit of sanding to do, but getting a little sheen to her. Ah, there we go. Much better. Sun's a little bright. But yeah, you guys can see the lines there. I'm going to try and wet sand those out and see if I can get a little cleaner, but either way, like I said, it's an 80-foot paint job, and be good enough for uh, bopping around. That's going to wrap up part three. Stay tuned for part four. We're going to start putting lights in. We're going to start putting the top back on it. We're going to make this thing work. Holy stank. See you on the next one.